So we're looking at the arithmetic sequence now, and uh, it's actually the easiest of the sequences, so quite simple, because it's simply where I keep adding a number to get to my next term. So if I start at something like 7, and I add ach, anything, let's add a 4, then I get 11, uh, then my next term would be 15, and 19, etc. I think you get it. Okay, so this is an arithmetic sequence, and we see each time when I subtract consecutive terms, okay, so 11 minus 7 gives me 4, 15 minus 11 gives me 4, 19 minus 15 gives me 4. And now I see I've got a constant difference, okay, constant difference. Now, if I just look at these two numbers, they give me my parameters. Okay, parameters for what? Well, for the general term, you might recall, we said that the general term for the arithmetic sequence is the first term, which is the 7, plus the constant difference, which is d. Okay, but for the first term, I don't add it, only from the second term. So that's why I add it n times, but if n is 1, I haven't added it yet. So I only start adding from the second term. That's why it looks more or less like this. And uh, from this, we also um, know that that's my first term, a. So a in this case is equal to 7. And this is my constant difference. Okay, and that would be the value 4. So here we go. This general term for this sequence would be tn is equal to 7 plus 4 times n minus 1. And I can simplify it if I want to, and I get 4n when I distribute it. 7 minus 4 gives me plus 3. And there we go. With this formula, we can now go and find any term number. So in other words, um, let's say you wanted the hundredth term hundredth term what would you find in that position well not too difficult we don't have to do this a hundred times all we need to do is substitute n with a hundred and then we get four times one hundred plus three is equal to four hundred plus three four zero oh, three there we go easy as that just uh, two notes okay two notes how will we find d if the values aren't given to us? Well, the constant difference is very easy. All I need to ta do is take two consecutive terms. So I can take term 2 minus term 1, for example. Or I can take term 3 minus term 2. Or I can take term, well, let's go for 99, term 99. All I need to do is subtract term 98. Okay, now this gives me also the arithmetic property. The arithmetic property. And here we go. This is the arithmetic property. That thing right there. The term 2 minus term 1 is equal to term 3 minus term 2. Why do I call that the arithmetic property? Well, it's an equation. And you'll see that this equation is quite useful if uh, they only give me a certain number of terms and um, not a lot of information regarding that. Obviously, A being the first term is found by finding the first term. Simple as that. Okay, let's look at a few examples.